let's start the daily discussion the first topic is factor that can assist in the rising out its current recession because the entire world including india are witnessing recession but indian gdp growth rate has shown a positive trend gdp growth in india and gdp comparison with us the second quarter quarter 2 of 2024 which ran from july to september india's gross domestic product increased by 7.6% according to the most recent data from the ministry of statistics and program implementation as per the report of the ministry of statistics and program implementation so the gross domestic product of india has increased by 7.6% in second quarter or quarter 2 india's economy saw a decrease in agricultural sector an increase in manufacturing and a slowdown in the service sector so we sector in the this second quarter of this financial year which july august september okay so this shows that agricultural business is for there is increase in uh, manufacturing and there is slowdown in the सर्विस सेक्टर दिस क्लास ऑनलाइन सारी कथा ओके दैट व्हाट रोल डज दिस ग्रोथ डाटा प्ले ओके दिस दिस सो दिस इज द फिगर सो डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स एंड द कंट्रीब्यूशन ओके सो व्हाट रोल डज दिस ग्रोथ रेट डाटा प्ले This degree of economic development not only totally surpasses all market predictions, but it is also fairly impressive. The GDP estimate for the entire fiscal year has been revised upward in a rush of adjustment following the latest quarterly GDP increase. Though originally sounding bullish in comparison to other experts, it seems that India's central bank, the RBI, predicted. the country's gdp growth rate for the fiscal year properly this growth has been properly predicted accurately by the rbi the central bank of india because so many government and other agencies they have also predicted about indian gdp growth rate but we are able to achieve more accuracy when it comes to the rbi prediction it emerges as more accurate or more real in comparison to other that is why it has been said that our central bank is able to predict the data more accurately than anyone else okay now that other experts have updated their estimate to match the bank's 6.5% forecast it appears that okay so rbi made a pre precise prognosis as compared to others so rbi is able to made a precise prognosis of the gdp growth which we are able to achieve and the other agencies both government and non government which made such procrastination or give the advance estimate so they are not accurate whereas rbi was able to put it in a more accurate form this also means that rbi is unlikely to cut interest rates sooner than expected if gdp growth rate is as per expectation so rbi is not going to reduce the interest rate through its monetary policy had the growth rate been below market expectation the probability of rate cut would have high heightened so rbi is the money market regulator and to the regularly by monthly publish monetary policy it try to regulate the interest rate as per the requirement of the market at the growth rate remain at the projection so there is no possibility right now on part of the rbi to reduce the interest rate to inject more money to the market so the different interest like the bank rate repo rate reverse repo rate slr crr are not going to change especially repo rate and bank rate 
they are not going to change by RBI because the growth rate, the GDP growth remains stable. Oh, RBI feel there is no need of injecting more liquidity to the market. So the rate of interest is not going to be reduced further. Okay. <coughs> it also it is also noted that it was exactly three years ago when the Ministry of Statistics Program Liquidation announced the quarter two GDP data for 2021 that India went into a technical recession. The, ups, the upside surprise on growth has been hoped that India's economic recovery is now gathering momentum. So, so this present economic uh, the GDP growth rate and GDP data show that or it reveals that India is on a recovery path. And the recovery program of Indian economy is gaining momentum with the passage of each quarter. Which different methods are used to measure economic growth? Two methods for estimating economic growth. First, the GDP method. It entails analyzing consumer spending trends. The expenditure side, gross value added, can be used to calculate GDP by deducting government subsidies and adding indirect taxes. The GVR gross value addition. It concentrates on the economic uh, economy's income sector. <laughs> The value of a sector's output less the value of its intermediary inputs. Value addition input and what is the price of the output because the price of the output, the price cost of the inputs should be deducted from the uh, the cost of the input should be deducted from the final price of the product. So how much is the value added can be only known from this. This is called the value addition. The GV method is the most appropriate method because through this there is a gross value addition being done by different sector is properly estimated. Labor and capital are two main inputs of production from which this value added is extracted. What? Labor and capital. Differences between the two approaches known as discrepancy, the difference between the two approaches has generated debate most notably around the release of first quarter GDP figures. The gross value addition figures are frequently thought to be more trustworthy for a detailed examination of quarterly economic patterns, whereas the expenditure statistics is more favored for evaluating annual trades. But actions are required to strengthen India's growth rate, increasing investment and consumption. These two factors account for over 70% of India's GDP and are the primary drivers of domestic demand. The government can keep enacting changes that lower interest rates, bad loans, regulatory obstacles, and pollution uncertainty in order to boost investment. So, these are the major recommendations to boost the investment and faster recovery of the economy from recession. The government can encourage job creation. Rural development, income growth, inflation control, and credit availability in order to boost consumption. Improving manufacturing and exports, India can diversify its economy and become more integrated in the global market by leveraging these two important sources of value addition employment and foreign demand. <coughs> For its age, improving manufacturing and exports, India can diversify its economy and become more integrated into the global market, leveraging these two important sources of value addition, employment and foreign demand. The government can keep implementing programs like the National Infrastructure Pipeline, the Production Link Incentive Scheme and the Atma Nirbhar Bharat Package to boost manufacturing and exports. Investing in social services and human capital is crucial to raising the standard of living and productivity of India's sizable and youthful population. This is what so investing in social services and human capital, development of human capital through training, skill addition, etc. The government can keep carrying out initiatives that improve education, health, skills, nutrition, water, sanitation, energy, housing, and healthcare in order to invest in human capital and social services. Sustaining economic growth and adjusting to different shocks and uncertainties require maintaining macroeconomic stability 
and resilience. The government can carry on implementing responsible fiscal and monetary policies that strike a balance between growth and inflation goals in order to preserve macroeconomic stability and resilience. Okay, but again I'm reading the government can carry on implementing responsible fiscal and monetary policies that strike a balance between growth and inflation goals in order to preserve macroeconomic stability and resilience. In conclusion, it can be said the Indian economy has faced and overcome recession in past and the same is expected in future. Banks have a critical role in cushioning the impact of recession and the resilience is vital to the economy recovery. Because when the country goes through recession, there is a need for cash or capital in the economy. Here, banks are uh, expected to play a major role in fulfilling the financial requirement of the country of the economy to overcome the recessionary trend. That is why, during the recession period, the financial institutions in general and the banks in particular are very very important role to play. The next topic is impact of exit pool as a result of the election. Recently, we have election to nearly uh, five states and uh, the uh, results have been published with the BJP getting three and uh, Congress. Okay, so uh, here is the exit pool. The opinion and exit pool are conducted during the course of the examination. The result of the exit pool of the following five states were uh, recently made public Mizoram, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Rajasthan, and Chhattisgarh. In several recent elections, exit pool produced inconsistent findings and were therefore unreliable. Okay, in several recent elections, exit pools produce inconsistent findings and we are therefore unreliable. How do exit pools work? Voters are surveyed during the election as they leave a pool in place. Practice known as pool exit pool. After casting vote, when the voter leaves the election booth, the sepologist uh, of the agency who collect the exit pool, they collect the opinion of the people whom they have given their vote. And that is called exit pool. Exit means while exiting from the polling stations after casting his vote, the public opinion is taken on his electoral behavior to whom he has given the vote. The intent is to compile voting behavior data as well as demographic information. Fine. Prior to the official result being published, this survey offers preliminary outcomes predictions. Okay. Because the exit poll data are uh, published before the final result is published. So they give a uh, means uh, this is the, the preliminary outcomes predictions are given by the exit uh, poll. In 1957, in the second Lok Sabha elections, the Indian Institute of Public Opinion conducted an exit poll okay, for the first time. And subsequently, there are so many other agencies which are conducting exit poll and opinion poll in the election. Then, opinion poll is during the election process, and exit poll is conducted after the person cast his vote in the polling booth. And when it comes out of the exit poll station, each opinion is taken into consideration and that is that is that is able to give a forecast of the result before it is finally published by the election commission after proper counting sample techniques the accuracy and dependability of the sample techniques employed in exit interviews are critical results from a representative and well designed sample are more likely to be correct good or accurate opinion pool often meet two requirements a big and diversified sample size and a oil design questionnaires free of obvious biases. Structure questionnaires, surveys such as exit poll gather information by conducting in-person or telephone interview with a large number of respondents using a structure questionnaires. Without a structure questionnaires, Without a structured questionnaire, the data can neither the class the class of the 
Sure, sure, sure. Without a structured questionnaires, the data can neither be collected coherently nor be analyzed systematically. To arrive at good self estimates, states the uh, center of the study of developing society. This is the agency which also collected the GIP code or collected the GIP code. Demographic presentation. It is crucial to make sure that the group being questioned is demographically representative to all voters. Prediction accuracy may be impacted by the over presentation or under presentation of particular groups. Although having a high sample size is beneficial, what really counts is how well the sample represents the whole population. What are the objections against the exit pool? Exit pool may spark controversy if it is thought that the organization conducting them is biased. So that is what if the organization is conducting the uh, poll is biased in favor of one political party or against uh, in favor of one candidate, then he that agency will not be able to collect proper information because he that agency itself is biased. Exit poll may spark controversy if it is thought that the organization conducting them is biased. The selection, formulation, and timing of the survey questions as well as the characteristics of the sample selected can have an impact. Opponents said that rather than only representing popular notion or opinion, many opinion and exit polls are driven and supported by their rivals, which could skip voters' decisions in a drawn out election. Because if the exit poll shows something a different rate and it has some impact on influencing the voter behavior in subsequent polling days. However, in India, exit poll regulation handed in all states between the hour set for the start of the first phase of the poll and 30 minutes after the last phase of the poll, the closing section 260-226A of the Republic Act 1951 forbids conducting exit poll and disseminating the results through print and electronic media during the specified period before the starting and after 30 minutes of the closure. No such poor exit poll can be conducted, nor that data will be shared. This is what is the restrictions to check the voter behavior in the election. Right. Election Commission is in charge of KSA. Election Commission is in charge of overseeing the application of exit poll. Exit polls can only be done within a certain time frame. According to Election Commission of India, this window of time begins when the poll finishes and concludes 30 minutes after the last booth closes. This is the period right? when the poll can be conducted. The poll can be conducted. The result can be published before the closure of the election. Uh, uh, on the day of the voting or during the voting session, exit polls are not permitted. In accordance with Article 324 of the Constitution, Election Commission released instructions that forbid news outlets and newspaper from disseminating the findings of exit pool and pre-election surveys. Election Commission also required media outlets to reveal the sample size of voters, the specific of the polling processes, the margin of error, and the history of the polling farms in addition to exit and opinion poll findings. These are need to be shared. This means that until the last round of voting is over, Exit poll cannot be published, although they can conduct it, but always the last round is not conducted and they can be published in the press, electronic, or any social media. The Election Commission of India forbids exit poll from being published and mandates that any media outlets that conducts one must register with the Commission. So, any agency that wants to conduct exit poll must get registered with the Election Commission of India. So, transparency and methodological rigor, stress and significance of transparency in the exit poll process is the requirement. Information regarding sample techniques, questionnaire design, and uh, respondent selection procedures should be made public by polling organizations. Reforming regulation, election officials, the media, and the polling companies working together can produce improved standards that handle new issues and guarantee accuracy and fairness. And reporting exit pool findings. This, these are the things that are, uh, can be added to make the process more transparent 
and make them more uh, in conformity with the rules and regulations. Cooperation relation supervisors encourage tighter cooperation between election officials and polling uh, companies. Election commissioners can share information on voter demographics, offer advice on uh, on, on uh, reducing any disturbances from a grid pool, and offer incited analysis of the voting process. Then, uh, so but but no doubt. So more and more companies or more and more farms and entities or agencies are right now conducting exit poll because so before the final result published, they are able to publish some information regarding the voting behavior. That is why so this is permitted in our country but under the Election Commission of India's regulations and guidelines. This was the police. The next topic is the general policy in India. Okay. Okay, so reservation that put in place in Indian constitution immediately after independence as a means to recognize the historical injustice meted out to people belonging to backward group and to implement provisions by which they could have better access to resources and opportunities. Reservation in Indian constitution is called as positive discrimination. Reservation in India are introduced to rectify the past and historical injustice against the backward classes in India to ensure that equal presence to, to ensure that equal presentation can be seen from people belonging to all castes in the services under the state and the center. To provide an ideal equal platform for everyone irrespective of Provide an equal platform for everyone irrespective of their caste. So, this is reservation. So, to promote and advance the backward classes, the Mandela Commission or the Second Social and Education Backward Class Commission was established in India in 1979 with the mandate to identify the social and education backward classes in India. The Jarnal Singh case referred to a significant Indian decision in India regarding reservation benefit to Sidhu caste and Sidhu tribe in promotion. In this case, the Supreme Court of India confirmed the exclusion of the criminal year for offering reservation benefits in promotion. At present, there is no reservation in civil post and services under the Government of India and admission to central education institutions for minority community declared by central government under Section 2C of the National Commission for Minority Act 1992. However, central government carved out a sub quota of 4.5% for minorities as defined under Section 2C of the National Commission for Minority Act 1992. This is the present condition of reservation. Then the double humped camel, the army recently deployed double humped camel for logistic support to the troops in the eastern Ladakh in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. So double humped camel or the bacterial camel are two humps on their back where they store fat. Scientific name is Camelus bacterinus. They are native to the harsh and arid region of Central Asia. 
the occupy habitat in central asia from afghanistan to china primarily of into the mongolian steppe and the gobi desert is occupied by the camels a small population of bactrian camel exists in the dubra valley of ladakh features they are up to 10 meters or uh, 10 feet or 3 meters long and weight is 590 to 1000 kg kg they are smaller and slender than the one hunt dromedary uh, camel found in africa and the middle east their fur color varies from baggy to dark brown they have thick woolly coats that provide warmth during the cold months and insulate them from the desert heat and they shed this for the summer months Life span is 50 years. They typically live in the herds of 2 to 6 to 20 members, although they can occasionally be solitary or in groups of up to 30 individuals. Diet: They are omnivorous, but are primarily herbivorous and constantly graze on grasses. Okay, this is the camel, which the essentially the security forces are uh, deployed in the latter valley. <coughs> The climate club recently, the climate club was formally launched at the 20th conference of parties, the COP28, ongoing at United Nations Climate Convention on Climate Change at uh, that that uh, which is going on in UAE, Dubai. Okay, it is held and led by Germany and Chile. The club has garnered support from 36 member countries, including Kenya, the European Union, Switzerland, and others. It aims to make decarbonisation of industries successful for climate and business through ambitious policies, alignment of methodologies and standards, and improving finances and assistance for energy and developed economies. The activity of the club are divided into three key pillars. Pillar one includes advancing ambitious and transparent climate change mitigation policies. Very good. Okay. Pillar two is transforming industries. Pillar three is boosting international cooperation and partnership. Two co-chairs will be elected for three years term for for the club. Currently, Germany and Chile serve as the co-chairs. A body of members will determine the scope and approval of uh, scope to scope and approval approve the work program. But the member and furthermore, a steering group will be formed to support the body of member. When the club reaches 40 members, so a steering committee will be formed also. The secretariat will be formed to implement its work program. Currently, the organization for economic cooperation and development. Okay, so the, the organization for economic cooperation and development (OECD). And International Energy Agency at the joint entry of heads of this uh, secretariat of this particular fund created at the COP, the Conference of Party, going on the COP 28 at present going on at Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. The International Solar Security Association recently, the Social Security Association recently, the employee state. So recently, the Employee State Insurance Corporation backed the International Society uh, Social Security Association (ISSA) Vision 2023 award in the recently held 23rd World Congress on Safety and Health at a work in Sydney, that is Australia. About the International Solar Security Social Security Association, it is the principal international institution bringing together social security agencies and organizations of the world to one for. Aim is to promote a dynamic social security and a social dimension in a globalizing world, are supporting excellence in social security administration. It was founded in 1927 under the auspices of the International Labour Organization. It has over 3,220 member institutions from over 160 countries, headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, located at the International Labour Office (ILO) office. 
It provides access to information, expert advice, business standards, practical guidelines, mm -hmm. and platform for members to build and promote dynamic social security steps worldwide. The vision of dynamic social security provides a framework for ISSS action. Key facts about the Employee State Insurance Corporation. It is a statutory corporate body set up under the ESI Act 1948. Responsible for the admission of ESI schemes, headquarters in New Delhi, the composition, the chairman, the um, labor minister, the head, the central government appoints a director general as the chief executive officer of ESIS Employee State Insurance Corporation. The ESIC comprises member representing crucial interest group include employees, uh, employers, employees, the central state governments, representatives of the parliament and medical professional. Standing committee it is constituted from among the members of the employee state insurance corporation uh, which acts as an executive body. The standing committee has the power to administer the affairs of the ECIC and perform functions of the ECIC under its overall control and superintendence. So uh, the uh, the nominated so the other members of the standing committee are nominated by the elect and elected among the members of the ECIC. Nominated members include the following three members: the central state, the central state government, three members representing employee and the employer and the employee, and one member representing parliament and the medical profession. In the global drought snapshot report, according to the report, global drought snapshot launched by the UN Convention on Combating desertification, even CCD, at the outset of the COP28 climate talk in UAE, mentioned that drought causes more economic loss and affects more sectors of the society. So then they are becoming more frequent. Drought. Key points of the report agriculture and forest, 70% of cereal crops are damaged by drought in the Mediterranean in 2016 2018. So 33% loss of grazing land in South Africa due to drought. High consecutive uh, rainfall season failures in the Horn of Africa caused the region's host to drought in 40 years, contributing to reduced agricultural productivity, food insecurity, and high food prices. Africa's drought-related economic losses in the past 50 years is around 70 million. Water conditions: 75% of reduce in the cargo capacity of some vessels on the rain due to low river level in 2022 because that the water in the river are not there because there is no rainfall. 5 million people in South China affected by record low water level in the Ant River due to drought and prolonged heat in China. Social dimensions 85% of people affected by droughts live in low or middle income countries. 2 million people in the Central American uh, dry corridor needing uh, food aid after 5 years of drought, heat waves and unpredictable rainfall. Key factors about the UN Convention Combating Desertification It is one of the three conventions originated at the 1992 Act Summit in Rio de Janeiro. The other two uh, address climate changes UNFCC and the uh, United Nations Convention to Combat bad, that uh, to value uh, on biological diversity UNCBD. It is the only legally binding framework set up to address desertification and the effect of drought. There are 197 parties to the convention, including 196 countries, parties are the European Union. The convention based on the principle of participation, partnership and decentralization is a multilateral commitment to mitigate the impact of land degradation and uh, protect our land so we can provide food, water, shelter and economic opportunity to all people. Parties to the convention Meeting con 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 conferences of the parties every two years, Raj, in technical meetings throughout the year to advance the aims and ambitions of the convention and achieve progress in its implementation. Then, uh, coming to the question, uh, or the long question type answer.
then follow the question what you understand by this quote integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching okay this chief s lewis has said it okay integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching that is integrity the quote integrity is doing the right thing even no one is watching is by c s lewis encapsulates a fundamental principle of moral character and ethics at this at its core it emphasizes that true integrity is not dependent on external oversight or the fear of consequences but rather on an individual's inner sense of right and wrong so i know what is right and what is wrong i must know that so no one is watching but myself is watching what i am doing doing the right thing the quotation emphasizes that maintaining integrity requires continuously making morally righteous choices and acts it is about what is morally and ethically right not about what is easy weak or popular even when no one is watching it highlights that upholding moral principle at all times not just in the face of public scrutiny or in the possibility of rewards and penalty is what integrity is all about to be truly honest one must uphold their morals in the face of accountability of witnesses internal compass according to the page honesty is a fundamental trait it is an expression of one's own ideals and ideas it is about doing morally uh, morally because it is what you think is right not because you are afraid of other people's external judgment or punishment but by but, but by your own own assessment trust or the less a person gain credibility when they behave honorably to a regular basis on a regular basis no matter what the situation other can rely on them because they always act with a strong moral compass character development this uh, quotation exhort people to develop a solid moral foundation it serves as a reminder that even when no one is looking the things we do still have an impact on who we are and how we develop as people in conclusion this quotation highlights the value of moral inner strength and steadfast adherence to moral standards it exhort us to preserve integrity because it is the proper thing to do not so that we can gain favor Okay, this course will highlight the value of moral inner strength and steadfast adherence to moral standard. It exhorts us to preserve integrity because it is the proper thing to do. So, not so that we can gain favor. When true integrity is put to the test in the absence of outside oversight, it defines moral behavior and virtue of the individual. That is what is being made part of the syllabus to uh, teach the aspirants about in integrity, honesty, etc. In common to the MCQs, consider the following statement regarding the double hop camels. They are native to the Harz and arid region of the Central Asia. Uh, that is, they are not found in India. They are found in India, in part of Ladakh. Their herbivores and survive mostly on grasses. So, so here only two are correct. Consider the following statement regarding the uh, climate club. It is led by the European Union and United Arab Emirates. which is a board of 36 members climate club currently organization of economic cooperation and development and the interest of ngc are the joint interim heads of the secretariat question number 2 only uh, so uh, only uh, and uh, okay the two co-chairs will be elected for two years term for the club so there are two which correct because one is not correct two and three are correct so option is two only two as the following statement regarding international social security association it is a principal international institution bringing together social security agencies and organizations of the world it was founded in 1950 okay so only one is correct headquarters is not at, at uh, berlin it is the uh, ilo headquarter okay so only one is correct two are here incorrect so which of the following uh, institution organization Released the global drought snapshot report, released by 
the UN Convention will compare with the ratification. So answer is D. Consider the following statement. Goods and service tax is applicable on supply of goods or services as against the old concept of manufacture of goods. That is right. Goods and Services Act is based on the principle of destination based consumption taxation as against the previous principle of origin based taxation. Here both one and two are correct. The State of Food and Agriculture 2022 was released by so it, it, it was released by Food and Agriculture Organization FAO United Nations Agency. Regarding the river carbon, consider the following statement. It is known as Oni in Tamil Nadu. Lakhmin uh, uh, Nirta is one of its left bank tributaries. Here only one is correct, but two is incorrect. Consider the following statement regarding Mount uh, Morapi, located in the island of Hawaii, in the US state of Hawaii, in the South Pacific. Which incorrect. Its name, uh, it means mountains of peace, no. Uh, with no eruption since the 19th century, this volcano is another extinct volcano, an active volcano, recently erupted. So it is all the three are wrong. What is the following statement? It lies in the Alidwarpur subdivision of the Dalpai Kurishi West Bengal. And it is northern boundary runs along the international border of Pakistan, Bhutan, right? So the fragile terrain ecosystem constitutes a part of the region. Two rivers named the river. Uh, river class So the river, the two rivers, namely the river uh, Redak and the river Jayanti, flow near this tidal region. So here this is this is this refers to the Baksa tidal region. Baksa tidal region. Uh, recently, the Amelia uh, Odisha uh, Odisha Sai was in news. It is a species of uh, wild okra. Okay, why no okra? Okay. Thank you for watching. Keep watching regularly to upgrade yourself.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग